Multiple people are presumed dead after a cargo ship slams into a Baltimore bridge Tuesday morning. Investigators are trying to piece together a timeline for what happened. Fox's Connor Hansen is on the scene with more. The Coast Guard has ended its rescue mission, now moving on to recovery with the six people missing in that bridge collapse now presumed dead. Expect later today we'll have a lot more information to share. The National Transportation Safety Board recovering a data recorder from the ship that rammed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge on Tuesday, causing parts of the structure to collapse. That information will help officials determine whether the vessel lost power prior to the crash. The agency says it is also looking into whether contaminated fuel played a factor. There has been an increase in recent years in these deficiencies noted in ships and propulsion. Divers are returning to the Patapsico River on Wednesday to look for the bodies of people still missing. Maryland officials say prior to the crash, police were able to warn workers and stop traffic after the ship issued a mayday call. Had these police officers and these law enforcement officers not done that, what was a catastrophic incident that we saw would have been even more catastrophic. As the investigation continues, vessel traffic into and out of the port of Baltimore is suspended. Federal officials say they will work to reopen the port as soon as possible, but warn we could still see supply chain disruptions. There are tunnels that work as alternatives, but there's going to be some impacts on traffic. President Biden says he'll travel to Baltimore soon and says he expects the federal government to pay for all of the cost of repairing the bridge. In Baltimore County, Connor Hansen, Fox News. Here in the metro, there was a special tribute to Baltimore. The 35W Bridge was lit up in red, white, and yellow, the colors of the Maryland state flag. Of course, the collapse of that key bridge bringing back a lot of memories for Minnesotans who can remember the collapse of the old 35W Bridge 17 years ago. It's 2007, August 1st. Former Hennepin County Sheriff Rich Stanick was in office on that August 1st day in 2007, the day the 35W Bridge came down during the evening rush hour, killing 13 people and injuring 145 people. He remembers getting the news on his drive home from work, immediately rushing to get on a boat to head out to the site of the emergency. Stanick says he knows the toll these kinds of disasters take on first responders. You get that emotional toll, which is really heavy on first responders. Uh, you also get the physical toll. You've got the weather conditions, the water conditions. The NTSB determined the cause of the 35W bridge collapse was a design flaw in the gusset plates. Well, there's